Justin, who is a biology student at Columbia University, collaborated with Saborno Isaac to help measure the radius of a sphere. Together, they measured the sphere and took the mean of the measurements to find the volume and the uncertainty in volume. Thank you, Justin, for helping me collect these four measurements. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to take the mean of all of these measurements. So, how do we do that? Well, remember, the mean is simply the average. And I think you should already know how to take the average. So, our mean here is going to be x1, which is 15.4, plus x2 is 11.3, plus x3 is 14.2, plus x4 is 12.8. Divided by, we're going to have on the bottom, how many measurements did we take? Un, dos, tres, cuatro. Four. Point four two five. Well, we have to round it up to three significant figures. So, we're going to have to make it 13.4. The standard deviation of the radius if you don't remember, is x1 minus x bar square plus x2 minus x bar square plus bada 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 plus xn minus x bar squared. So that equation. Now we're going to divide that by the square root of n minus 1 bar is 13.4. x2 is 11.3, while x bar is 13.4. x3 is 14.2, and x bar is 13.4. And finally, last but last but last, we have minus x bar. So 12.8 minus a significantly squish 13.4. Now, even though the 13.4 has been significantly squished, that still does not change the amount of significant figures in it. So now, we divide this by the numbers. We only have room for three here, buddy. So we have 1.77 centimeters. But hold up, hold up. We still need to calculate the standard error. So that's the standard. That just allows us to take 1.77 divided by the square root of 4, which is 2. So now I'm going to divide uh, 1.77 by 2. 0 0.885. This does not count as a significant figure, so I'll allow it. So, our standard error is 0 0.885 centimeters. Radius is equal to, we have 13.4 as our mean, plus minus, well, 0 0.885, but we can only go up to the least accuracy with adding or subtracting. We're going to have to round this up to 0 0.9 cm. All right. So now we're going to find the volume. Hooray! Finally, we come to what we're here for. So how do we find the volume? Well, first, let's find the volume of the mean. So say it with me. Don't Google it. The volume of a sphere is 4 over 3 pi r cubed. Got gotcha? that? Good. All right. 4 over 3 pi r cubed. So, our volume for the mean, this is going to have to be 2, 10,000, 1, 12,200. So, this subtracted from 8,180. Now, 
here we only have the precision of up to the hundred so we're gonna have to round this to 8200 because of that we're doing subtraction here so 10 100 plus minus this uh, also has accuracy of up to 100 so we don't need to change it so we have 12 200 minus 80 200 which should be 4000 So we get 10 100 plus minus 4,000. Yes, I know it's a lot of uncertainty, but look at the variation in these. Square, uh, cube, cubic? Yeah, cubic centimeters. All right, thank you everybody for watching.